Yo, what up? It's your boy Just Mike. I'm back again with a different kind of beer. Beer the beer I never tried before. I'm doing this one off my webcam, so of course we do we get in the clicking effect on the on the mic. Um, don't know why it does that, but we're gonna get into it uh, today. I'm doing something for Magic Hat. It's not the wacko, it's the number nine. And if you can see there, it says not quite pale ale. Um, I don't know if this is an IPA or not. Uh, I'm thinking it's an ale infused with uh, regular ale or something else. I'm not sure. Um, I didn't want to do any research for this beer, just to want to taste it on my own and get my own thoughts on it. I didn't even look at the makeup, what kind of hops, what kind of moss they use. Just wanted to jump into it and kind of want to make this one a quick review. Don't want to go past five minutes with this one, so I'm going to pour it up. I already popped the top, which was an epic pop. You guys should have seen it, but I'm going to pour it up and I'm going to tell you what I think. And as you can see, it's pouring up a very nice, very nice, clear gold, filtered gold, I would say. Very decent, decent head on there. Nice micro bubbles. Um, you might see a little darker gold, but it's lighter gold on my end. Uh, nice carbonation, streaming. Now, um... This beer was seriously chilled, probably about 45, maybe even 40 degrees. I let it warm up, I let it sit up a little bit, thinking that it's an IPA. So, I'm hoping it is. Um, I don't really have too many IPAs, so when I get a chance to have one, it's kind of a nice thing. But uh, let's get to the smell of it. Uh, very roasted smell. Uh, very citrusy, um, very malty too. I can't really distinguish any different kind of malts. It just smells real malty, real, like real hoppy. Not a, like a super hop, but like a grapefruity kind of a smell. Um, so let's go ahead and taste it, man. <laughs> it's pretty good, man. Um, it's definitely not an IPA. Uh, very, very mild tasting beer. Very big carbonation. Um, really nice notes on it. Nice malty notes. There's a fruitiness to it. Kind of like a uh, peach. Maybe an apricot. Um, or like a it's, it, it's a real fruity taste to it. Ooh, nice carbonation. One of the things about this beer is the carbonation plays a big factor in it. So it's like a lager, maybe. Uh, you guys can understand that. It's more like sudsy. Um, that kind of helps clean the palate and then the taste is really crisp and refreshing. Um, this is like a a wheat beer, almost, I would say. Um, it really is good, or it's like a light version of a blonde. Uh, really, not too heavy on the back end, not too hoppy, not too bitter. Uh, but it's pretty good. I guess they use pale malts in it instead of it being like an India pale ale. But it is a solid beer, man. Um, I gotta give it a two thumbs up for and regular ale. It's really clean and refreshing and carbonated. Just everything I like in an ale. So I, I say, you know, go ahead and try it. Uh, the thing is, is that it is kind of light flavor. There's not like a very full flavor to this beer. So everything is kind of like pulled back a little bit. So, uh, you know, maybe it gets a one and a half thumbs instead of a two for that. Uh, but other than that, it is a great beer, man. So it's the Magic Hat Wacko. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Magic Hat number nine. I'm just so used to seeing the Wacko stuff. 
Magic Hat number nine, guys. It's by, of course, Magic Cat 5.1% ABV. I mess with it. Yeah, I should too. Until the next time, I got a Aik Sri Lanka Rausch beer, which is basically a German Bomberg smoke beer. That's coming up next. Real eager to taste that. I'm going to share it with you guys. Don't know if it's going to be by HD Cam or by Red. But until the next time, it's just Mike. I'm going to finish this one. Those are my birds in the back. Give me the ABV, and I'll highlight you guys later. All right. Ah, it's pretty good, man. All right.